not, you know, uh, is it bold, etc. And I'll show you how to set up one of these files. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to make a new folder here. Fonts. It's good to be organized. Okay. So. So let's include that. See, I should have added the folder. I kind of messed it up right there, but anyway, um, this will be called Arial. So what we'll do is we'll say my font equals content dot load. So what we're going to do, oh wait, we're going to take the sprite batch dot draw string, and then we're going to put our sprite font in there, my font. We're going to put what we want, we'll put smiley. We'll put, we'll put the position, but we're going to minus it. Um, we're going to minus it, uh, well, actually, the best thing would probably be to do is, we got more options in here, and I'll show you how to use them. So, the position's the same, and then we'll say color dot white, rotation, I'm gonna put zero, the origin, that's what I wanted to show you. Okay, basically when we adjust the origin, right now, the smiley and the text is using the top left-hand corner to where that's its position. The top left-hand corner is its position. If you want to change that, you change the origin. Like if you wanted the position to be the middle, or you wanted it to draw in the middle of the object on the position, then you would minus the width of whatever it is divided by 2 and the height divided by 2. But we're just going to offset it for now. So I'm going to make vector 2 font Origin. Oops. There we go. Okay, and we're going to go equals new vector two, and we're going to like minus ten, minus minus twenty, or something like that. Just to give it a little bit of an offset, and then we'll add that in here. Okay, and then the scale, basically the scale, you can, if you put 2.0, it's going to be twice as much. If you put 1, then uh, it's the same. So, sprite effects, there's a lot of overloads in here. So, wait, let's see. Sprite effects dot none. Basically, you can flip the texture vertically or horizontally or both. Float, layer depth, 
I'll show you more on this. Basically, when you draw, you have options where you can either make it, when you draw something, depending on how late it is, is how high it is. So if you draw the first object, the second object's going to be over top of it in one option. Second option is you can come in here and you can change the float of the layer depth. And it sorts uh, zeros being the highest and ones being the, the farthest back. So you get what I'm saying. So we're just going to put one point. We're going to put one because it doesn't really even matter right now. Oops. Okay, let's test that out. Nice. Pretty cool. Let's let's draw this red. Might look a little cooler than white. We'll change this color. Nice. Cool. All right. Um, thanks for watching, and tune back in for more uh, tutorials.